Researchers measured the data speeds for a particular smartphone carrier at 50 airports. The highest speed measured was 72.4 megabits per second. The complete list of 50 data speeds has a mean of X bar equal to 18.34 megabits per second and a standard deviation of S equal to 19.58 megabits per second. What is the difference between carrier's highest data speed and the mean of all 50 data speeds? We should begin by identifying the measures that we are given in the problem. We are told that the maximum value is 72.4. We are told that the mean is 18.34. And we are told that the standard deviation is 19.58. The difference between the carrier's highest data speed and the mean of all 50 data speeds we would find by subtracting the mean from the maximum value. So we will have 72.4 minus 18.34. So this difference is 54.06. The B part asks us how many standard deviations is that? In order to find out how many standard deviations 54.06 is, we would just divide 54.06 by the standard deviation 19.58. This would result in 2.76 if we round to two decimal places. The next question says, convert the carrier's highest data speed to a z-score. The z-score is the number of standard deviations that a data value lies away from the mean. The formula for the z-score is x minus x-bar over s when we are using sample measures. Well, we have already determined this value to be 2.76. So the answer to the question, how many standard deviations does a data value lie away from the mean, and what is the z-score for a particular data value, are the same. The next question says, if we consider data speeds that convert to z-scores between minus 2 and 2 to be neither significantly low nor significantly high, is the carrier's highest data speed significant? So in other words, if we were to look at a number line and say that any z-score between minus 2 or 2 is not significantly low nor significantly high, then anything outside of that interval, like our z-score of 2.76, would be significantly high. 